Hey guys, welcome to the Photoshop and Illustrator Unleashed class, and welcome to the dojo. I am Ivan Wittaborg, one of the TAs here. We are going to jump in to the Just Your Type exercises. And first up is Elliot. All right. Elliot, um, I tried to download your project files, and it doesn't look like you included any um, of the final versions of your project, so I'm having to do it here on the School of Motion portal. It isn't a big deal, but it would be good to just include those final files and maybe an exported JPEG or PNG. Um, and as of right now, um, there are only two students who, who finished the Just Your Type. I know that there's a lot of content that we're throwing at you guys, but try your best to keep up and try to get these assignments submitted um, before the Wednesday Dojo so you have a chance to, to be featured in the Dojo. All right, so Elliot did a really great job with this. Um, he's treating the type really, really nicely. He has some good uh, kerning and tracking and line spacing. Um, I love what he did right here. He made it seem like the, the fly hires kind of behind the clouds. I really love how that ties it in with the rest of this, the board. Um, the hierarchy of information is great here. Most important is the title of it, then is the date, then is the uh, location. And we kind of have the logo as kind of like knowing, okay, who's putting this on or, or who is it from? Um, I did say that this logo kind of looked a little bit out of place here, a little bit awkward. Um, maybe, maybe attaching it to the corner or just lining it up here underneath um, would, would do a little bit better. Uh, but awesome job on this board. Next is the canoodle. Great organization of information here. Most important is canoodle, then tomorrow, then uh, all of the titles of the shows and Eastern Standard Time right underneath it. Um, I did challenge e Elliot to maybe look at how he could use scale to further enforce the hierarchy. Because right now, tomorrow, the titles and the time are all the same size. They are spaced differently, but you could further emphasize and make it a little bit easier for the viewer to pick up what's the most important. Um, and I would say that the, the name of the show would be even more important than tomorrow or the time. Um, so maybe making that second biggest under Canoodle and seeing how everything else fits in with that. So I think it's a really great start. I think using scale as a way of contrast would make this an even stronger board. Really, really love this one. Um, the I love the way that you made this logo type. It looks really, really sleek. Um, and the texture that you put with it, as well as the color overlay, looks really awesome. Um, and the body copy text that you chose for this works really, really well. Um, I would say add a little bit more uh, breathing room on your margins here. It doesn't need to fill up the whole box. Um, and this might be a little bit large um, type size, so you can maybe scale that back a little bit, and that would give it a little bit of extra breathing room all around to just allow it to feel a little bit more sophisticated um, like it is with the rest of the brand. So awesome job on these boards, Elliot. You did a really, really great job. Next up is Jay, um, and Jay did an awesome job on this chocolate board. I love the texture that you have behind here. Um, I did say that this, these L's back to back look a little bit too repetitive. Um, it's nice to have one of those that really like brings along the sophisticated swoop and the um, luxuriousness of this brand, um, but maybe just having one of those and not for both L's, um, I think that would be good. I think the, the text chosen for the body copy works really, really nice. Good spacing. Um, easy to read. Um, I did say that this uh, little accent or separator, it looks great and it's used really, really well here. Um, but I think having two of them that look very similar and at, the, at similar sizes is a little bit too repetitive and it kind of gets distracting. So um, Jay, see what you can do with, with removing one of those and see how you can use one um, as powerfully as possible. Awesome job with that, Jay. On Jay's canoodle board, there are a few things. Um, always got to be careful about typos. Um, right here, you said all times are in Easter time. Um, typos will get you all the time. Uh, you can never look over your text enough. Uh, so just make sure you're mindful of that. Also, with just the hierarchy here, I think um, the title of the shows are the most important. So see how making these maybe the biggest, most prominent uh, feature secondary to Canoodle 
um, would look. And maybe Canoodle isn't even the biggest thing because we know we're watching the show. We know that we're watching this TV channel, that Canoodle is what we're watching. So maybe that doesn't need to be the biggest thing. Um, maybe the times is secondary, but the first, the primary information is actually the names of the show. So see how you could change the scale there a little bit. Size that up so it's really obvious, like, this is the show, and then that's the time. Um, and, oh, all of these are happening tomorrow. So see what you can do with that, Jay, but really great start here. Jay, I really love um, how you treated the text here. You got a nice, grungy, uh, sporty look here that matches the Maximum Arena Challenge logo. That works well. Really great, very simple, straightforward hierarchy. Jump further, fly higher is the title, and then we have the date, and then we have the location. Really great job, really uh, strong organization, super easy to read, super easy to consume. Um, awesome job on these boards, Jay. All right, guys, that's all I have for today for the Just Your Type assignment. I know we're throwing a lot of work your way. We know it's, it's really tough, but try to get these assignments sent in before uh, the Wednesday Dojo so that we can try to get these recorded and feature your work on the Dojo. Catch you guys next time.